Welcome folks, nice to see you on this Tuesday lunchtime. Warm well, welcome to the ladies on the phones. As usual, the words for today are in the description box below. And if you want to contact us, Ian's details are there also. The peace of Christ be with us all. Shall we say together? Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. Today's Psalm is Psalm 72, Psalm 72. Endow the King with your justice, O God, the Royal Son with your righteousness. He will judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. The mountains will bring prosperity to the people, the hills the fruit of righteousness. He will defend the afflicted among the people and save the children of the needy. He will crush the oppressed. He will endure as long as the sun, as long as the moon through all generations. He will be like rain falling on a mown field, like showers watering the earth. In his days the righteous will flourish. Prosperity will burn till the moon is no more. He will rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The desert tribes will bow before him and his enemies will lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and of distant shores will bring tribute to him. The kings of Sheba and Seba will present him gifts. All kings will bow down to him, and all nations will serve him. For he will deliver the needy who cry out, the afflicted who have no one to help. He will take pity on the weak and the needy, and save the needy from death. He will rescue them from oppression and violence, for precious is their blood in his sight. Long may he live. May God May gold from Sheba be given to him. May people ever pray for him and bless him all day long. Let corn abound throughout the land, on the tops of the hills may it sway. Let it fruit flourish like Lebanon, let it thrive like the grass of the field. May his name endure forever. May it continue as long as the sun. All nations will be blessed through him, and they will call him blessed. Praise be to the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone does marvelous deeds. Praise be to his glorious name forever. May the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. Now say the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever. Amen. We're still reading through Mark uh, Luke's Gospel, Luke 22 and verses 54 to 62. Then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter followed at a distance, but when they had kindled a fire in the 
the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together. Peter sat down with him. A servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight. She looked closely at him and said, This man was with him. But he denied it. Woman, I don't know him, he said. A little later, someone else saw him and said, You are one of them. Man, I am not, Peter replied. About an hour later, another asserted, Certainly this fellow was with him, for he is a Galilean. Peter replied, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Just as he was speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked straight at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word the Lord had spoken to him. Before the cock crows today, he was only three times. And he went outside and worked in the field. Shall we pray together? Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love, knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers which we make in his name. And now have time of silence here, where you can pray for the things which are on your heart. We pray in silence. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands, all people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, you humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who at the last through wood and nails purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the Lord, so that we, who come rough hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thank you God for listening to our prayers today. Hopefully we'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.